welcome to another episode of Ask Away Wednesday. You've got Christopher and myself here again. Uh, we've got another 2024 prediction question for you. Uh, this one, Christopher, how big of a role will migrating data from on-premise systems to the cloud play in 2024? I think, you know, this is really was one of maybe to one of your points in an earlier episode, this is one of the major drivers of cloud adoption is kind of those lift and shift type motions from on-prem systems into the cloud. And I don't think there's any reason why that would stop. Um, I'm aware of a large migration right now. I think it's like 24 petabytes or something like that of data that's being moved from a uh, Teradata system into Snowflake, um, like as as we speak. Um, and, and, you know, we've got decades and decades of selling legacy systems under our belt, and those systems are con confined by boxes. And the amount of money that it takes to expand the size of those boxes is far greater than the amount of money it takes to adopt Snowflake and use it and pay Snowflake as you consume the data or really any other cloud data platform. So just the economics of the opportunity, I think will lead to kind of continued adoption of the cloud away from those on-premise systems. For transactional workloads, maybe a little bit different, but for, for analytical workloads, scientific workloads, AI, ML, things like that, the value proposition is just too great. I don't know if you have any other thoughts, James. I think the AI, ML, you know, part por portion of it is going to be a, a a big driver. So I think my answer is it it's going to be it's going to play a large role. Um, you know, 15 years ago or 12 years ago, the saying came out: every company is now a software company. You know, I'd say two years ago they changed it to every company is now a data company. And then these large language models and AI platforms have have doubled that down um, or tripled that down. And now they're saying, you know, before you can have a a good AI ML strategy, you must have a good data strategy. Uh, I think it's going to continue to to force those changes up. I also think that we're starting to see companies are starting to see more ROI from their data projects. Um, and so we'll begin to see continued acceleration uh, into the cloud for those areas. I mean, looking at some of the customer growth counts uh, for the Databricks platform and the Snowflake platform, if that's any indication, 2024 is going to continue to be uh, a large push to get data in the cloud and be able to hook it up uh, to uh, to many more systems, especially the SaaS based ones. So, um, hope that uh, hope that addressed uh, the question there. Thank you very much for submitting it. Uh, we really enjoy uh, these segments, so please uh, submit some more questions, uh, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you very much.